Hello everyone, my name is Mir Ashtar. I'm a technical support engineer here at InterfaceWare. And today we'll be looking at how we can execute PowerShell scripts in order to execute FTP commands uh, from within your translator so we can retrieve information about files in our FTP server. So to start off, let's take a look at how our workflow uh, should, should look like. So over here, we'll have our PowerShell script or PowerShell command line that is uh, open as an administrator. And we'll go ahead and we will get into our FTP. We would like to open the FTP port here, open my FTP ID and my port. Right now we'll enter our username and our password to get access to our FTP server. And finally, we would like to do some workflow. So over here, I will go to uh, a directory on my FTP server, and I will execute the dir or directory command to retrieve information from the file. Now, over here, we can see that we are looking for our file name. So we have the readme.txt, and we have the x12 vmd, and we have the, the respective sizes, as well as date and time on when those files were created. That's what we wanted. Now we'll go ahead and close our FTP server. And we will go ahead and quit our FTP right here. Now, essentially what we want in our translator is the um, th this output right here. And we can achieve that by creating a text file that consisted of the commands that we just executed. So for example, we needed we need to open our port IP and port. We need to change directory as well as put in our username and password. And we need to execute the DIR, the close and the quit command. So for that, all we need to do is we can go to our notepad right here. And we can have open, we'll put our IP and our port. We will then put in our username. Over here, you can put in your password. Right. Once it's logged in, we then need to uh, change to change directory and execute our command to retrieve information. And finally, we would like to close our port as well as quit FTP. And we will save that as, for example, we will save it on our desktop as an example. So we will save it as command line .txt. Right now, what we need to do is create a PowerShell script. Okay, now I have created a PowerShell script in Windows Shell ISC. Over here, all I have is an FTP uh, that will uh, point to my command line file. Right, so I already have a commands.txt, uh, but you can make uh, your own command line file. And that consisted of all of my uh, commands, such as opening my port and those directories and uh, and then the listing the directory details uh, once you've created this you will save it i saved it in my documents and from here what we're going to do is we're going to go to our iguana now over here if you look into our iguana i have a from translator to channel uh, you can have any uh, configuration that is uh, respective of your env environment and what we have here is we start off with two local uh, two local parameters. We have the script path that denotes where is my PowerShell script uh, located. And we have a command line. This command line is pretty straightforward. What it does is execute PowerShell. And the important part is this bit. It's execution policy, and we're going to use bypass. So by default, your execution policy is restricted. So you will need to consult with your team or with your infrastructure management to determine if this is possible for you. And we're gonna bypass the execution policy so our script can uh, execute without any restrictions. And then we will give it the, the file path of our demo PS1. So this will this PowerShell uh, will execute our PowerShell file that we have saved uh, earlier in this video. The next thing we will need to do is we will need to use our io.popen API and we will feed the entire command. So everything from PowerShell uh, all the way down towards the end. And we will have the script path as denoted for our location of our power, uh, PowerShell script. And we and this will essentially run that command for you. And it will then create a file, a small kilobyte file, 
and that file will contain the response that it uh, that it uh, received from your above command and it will read the command and it will then close the file and it will print out our result uh, or our response from our command line so if you go ahead and if you run this right now as you can see if you click here we will run the script now this is fairly similar to what we actually worked on our uh, PowerShell command line. So we have our open IPN port, we have our username uh, and our password already fed into the command line or the command.txt file. And we have our command the C, uh, to change directory as well as retrieve the information. And this is the response that we were looking for uh, when we were when uh, we were executing the same in our uh, PowerShell script. As we can see, we have the date and time of the creation of the file. We also have the uh, this file size in bytes, and we have the file name. Now, from this point onwards, you can choose to uh, parse to just receive those uh, specific information, or you can uh, create a table in which you can uh, enter one of these following by line by line. So, yep, that is all for today's video. Of course, the, all of this is present in a text format in our Iguana Concepts page. Uh, and if you have any further questions, feel free to contact support and we will be happy to help. Have a great day, everybody, and uh, take care.